Welcome, Welcome back, back, comic, comic book, book nerds, nerds and otakus. I'm your shoujo webtoon fanatic, Zuria. I'm your friendly neighbor and game dev, TJ. And I'm your local potato, patatas, kartoffel, as well as German and video game enthusiast, Gian. And, and this, this is Off Panel, Panel, where we talk about all things anime, all things comics, and take on fun challenges. Just, Just Off Panel. Panel. Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man PS4's new update that allows you to transfer your old save files from the previous version to the remastered version on PS5. And it comes with three new costumes. So a lot of fans have been actually asking about the Amazing Spider-Man suit and they really wanted to have it in-game and now we have it. And I think it really looks good. Um, you guys should be able to see it now on screen and then for us, uh, you should be able to see it on Messenger. It should be the bottom half of the photos I sent. Yeah, it looks... I see it, I see it. Yeah, and... Uh, oh wow, I just really love how it looks in the game now. Uh, back in 2012, a lot of people had issues with the suit. Um, but I feel like... The newer rendition of it here in Spider-Man PS4. This is in the remastered version, by the way. This is just on my old. This is just on my uh, PS4, and it it still it looks amazing. And the remastered one even better, even better. I, I just love how it looks now. What about you guys? What do you think about it? Wait, I'm wrong. The 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 suit that's uh the original. Yeah, yeah, the red and blue one. The yeah, red and blue one near the latter one. half of the the latter half of the photos. Ah, that okay, one. okay, okay. I see it. Wait, 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 sorry. It's there's like there's three of there's like four of them, like a, like four pictures at the very end. Which one is it? They're or they're all wearing all? the same. Uh, it's the red and blue oh, one. Okay. It's okay, okay, the, the red and blue one is the only red and blue one I sent in that set. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> Okay. My bad. Yeah, it's like the original. Okay, okay so yeah, uh, this is from the Andrew Garfield series of movies. Well, I mean the first one. Um, he changed the suit in the second uh. one, so he only sits in the first. Well, what do you guys think about the suit? Um, did you watch the yeah, Amazing Spider-Man uh, movies or the first one? I watched the second one. I didn't watch the first one though. I think I watched, uh, but then I can't remember it because <laughs> I think it was a long I... time ago. Oh well, what do you guys think about the suit now though? Um, I I only watched the um, I only watched the uh, the second one. I don't even remember if it was like the entirety of the movie, but. I remember just watching the second one. I only see uh, a few clips of the first one. How I I know that the enemy was what was his name again? Was it just lizard or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it was the lizard. It was the enemy in the first one. Okay, okay, so it, it was okay, okay. I I know about that, but that's 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 as far as my knowledge goes with the first movie. And the second one, I just remember. <clears throat> Spine crack. Ah, oh, okay. Bro, I was just asking about this. <laughs> suit. You didn't have to go there. Bruh. This is on Miles, right? Or uh, no, no, no. This is on Spider-Man PS4. It's not on Spider-Man Miles Morales. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think, I think, I think the suit looks looks great, but like, I'm a bit like, I, I'm, I'm uncultured here. Okay, I'm uncultured, but. Uh, it's not too much of a big difference for me compared to like the the usual Spider-Man suit. Just like I mean, yeah, it's like no, the that, original that's fine. One. That's fine. That's yeah, why to be I'm fair, like, they, they stick yeah. pretty close to the original design. Yeah, it's at least like in terms of the general look of the outfit. Yeah. So I think it's the only difference, right. I guess, is the lighting. So uh, the game after the update actually comes with two more suits, and <laughs> while playing, I actually uh -huh. forgot to take photos of the other two suits so i'm just looking for uh pictures of it here on the internet <laughs> i'm gonna be sending it to you guys so um this uh our, the second suit is called arachnid rider suit you guys should be able to see it on your screen now uh i sent it through messenger also for us so we can all have a look at it and it's supposed to be ba supposedly based off of the common rider series you guys see the suit oh oh yeah I see it. Uh, this is actually one of the only three suits in the game, in Spider-Man PS4 specifically, that has uh, a different shading style on it. It's actually sort of shaded like an anime or a manga. Uh, it has cross-hatching on uh, it if you look around at the suit. So it looks it visually pops, distinct from it, the others. The colors... Uh, it, it pops oh, yeah, out totally. more. It, it definitely it pops, pops out, out a lot. Color, yeah. yeah. 
I like the design of the one Kamen of Rider one though. Yeah, I love how it looks. Yeah, I like I it too. Love, it looks really nice. Yeah, they, they really captured yeah. the essence of Kamen Rider and turned it into a Spidey suit. Yeah. There's actually another suit in uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, I've already unlocked uh-huh. all of the suits in the game, but I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be a Kamen Rider type suit because it's not named in the same with the same naming convention. But looking at it, it does sort of look like a Kamen Rider suit. Um, uh, so uh, I'm trying to send the next uh, image for the next suit, but it's not downloading on my end for some reason. But I'm just gonna keep trying to send it. But for now, I think we should move on to the next thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, so, in Spider-Man Miles Morales, there's one thing I wanted. There's a couple things I wanted to comment on. It's um, it's been out for some time now, and I'm not gonna go too much into detail about the game. I just want to highlight a couple features uh, that I think a lot of people uh-huh. would like to hear about, and I, I think are a bit fun to talk about. One uh, feature, for example, I wanted to talk about was the new photo mode in Spider-Man Miles Morales, and. Uh, this is like I was mentioning to you guys earlier before we actually started recording for this episode. Uh, I've been playing around a lot with Spider-Man Miles Morales, and not just with the main with the main gameplay itself, but I really love using the photo mode. That's why I've sent a lot of photos to you guys. It's not even all of the photos I've taken. Uh, with the new photo mode, it's it's kind of like having uh-huh. an actual like, photo studio, and just like instantly happen whenever you pause the game. And you, there's a new light mode in addition to a bunch of new stickers for the sticker mode that the previous game also yeah. had. Uh, that you can paste over the photos. Um, the new light mode is amazing. It really helps. Uh, bring, uh, it's kind of like working with a 3D modeling software. Uh-huh. Where you can drop lights in around and adjust the color, yeah. brightness, etc., and what type of light it is. And I think it really looks so good when you're. Yeah, uh, it, it, it really helps great. your photos look even way better. And um, uh, actually, actually, uh, there's also one thing I wanted to correct from one of our early episodes uh, where I mentioned that Mass Morales wasn't gonna be. Yeah. Like a short game. Um, it's actually it's kind of a short game. Not uh, it's, it's shorter than the previous game, but it's not you know like short short. It's um, if I remember if I recall correctly, Spider-Man PS4 is about a ten-hour game. Spider-Man Miles Morales. When I played it, uh, I took about seven hours to complete it. Uh, I I did do some side quests and side missions and stuff ah, like that, okay. but um, so like considering that it may be a bit shorter, uh, maybe six hours, but it wasn't really you know that short. But I still wanted to correct that. Uh, I was um, uh-huh. I was comparing Spider-Man Miles Morales to Spider-Man PS4 as, as I was playing the game and a little bit later after I finished I kind of went back and forth in two games just to see how different uh, the two games feel and to me New York really feels different in Spider-Man Miles Morales and it's not just because uh, it's it, you know it's now in it's now snowing it's now uh-huh. snowing uh, the game takes place mostly in Harlem and I feel like they did this to make the story feel a bit more personal uh-huh. to you uh, since there's a bigger emphasis with Miles interacting with the people around him, and since it focuses more in that specific area of New York, you really get a livelier yeah. sense of like the the environment. Everything feels more alive. So you know that oh, in this area, uh, these side characters are here, and then they're actually doing stuff. Yeah, because like, the story. So interact, it feels a bit livelier. Yeah, he can, he can also interact There's with all these. Wait, speak, speaking speaking of interacting, like like Miles interacting with them. There's this one video on Twitter that I saw, like it was Miles talking to a, a, a mute girl, and I was like, oh, it warms Oh, this is, that, that was, a, that was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was really that, cool that, that they so did I guess that. that's one of the interactions, was it, huh? Looks yeah, like, uh, she uh, was one of the side characters. She also had her own side mission, and she, she didn't just, like, appear in a side mission. She also appeared throughout the game, so that was really cool. So, I like that little interaction, like, the way he's... I, I, I know Miles is smart, but... <laughs> You know, yeah, knowing that and stuff, it's cool. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool that they did that, and um, uh, I feel like in this game, of course, we have uh, a more diverse cast, since of course it takes place in Harlem. Yeah. There's a lot more uh, diversity there uh, with the people in the races you're gonna see. And for me, I feel like they handled it really well. It's not like you know, like other companies where their their, their diverse cast is. Uh, you know, a collection of stereotypes or, you know, representatives for like a subgroup of, or people or, you know, something like that. It, like these these characters are the characters first and it just so happens that they have these mm. qualities or yeah. these identities. Not not just there for their, you uh, know, the... Yeah. Like it's their main feature. Yeah, it's not that they just have these traits or like these traits are their only personalities. Their sexual identity or their race is just their personality. They have actual personalities and yeah, I really like, like that. Yeah. 
it's like it's like one of the, it's like that one video that I saw. I think you, I think it was by a channel that uh, you introduced me to, TJ. Yeah. I think it was. I forgot what it was called, but they were talking about how, con like about Kanji Tatsumi and stuff and his personality. I guess it's like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was like so. Yeah, that's just the first thing that popped up when you said, like, oh, just because, just because, you uh, know, like, oh, this guy's black, so, but like, it's not really the main thing about it, or like, he's gay, or he's, or this person's, yeah, gay. I mean, it's not in, the main thing about. It. Yeah, in the first place, those aren't anything like personality traits. That's just their identity. That it shouldn't be, mm. it shouldn't say anything about their personality. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And um, since we're since we uh, sorry moved on to this topic anyway, I wanna touch on this as well. And it's um, yes. I'm not sure how recent this was, especially since uh, I'm not really sure when this episode is going up. But um, I was able to see a video recently uh, about um, CW, and you guys know that uh, the DC has a bunch of shows on the CW, right? CW. Yeah, uh, the, like the Flash, Arrow, you know, the DC TV shows on the CW. Uh-huh. Okay, well, uh, so recently, the Batwoman TV show has a new Batwoman. And uh, I don't know if they've had a black Batwoman in the comics before, and, but that doesn't really matter. They make up new characters for DC shows and cartoons all the time. Uh, what's uh-huh. uh, sorry, the issue here is that uh, her being black is the only thing being highlighted about the character. It's the thing that they keep advertising about the characters like the main focus that they're putting on on the character is that she's a black batwoman Bruh. and as i'm watching this uh youtube video by this youtuber who's a black person himself uh talking uh-huh. about the this issue uh he, I, i feel like he's really hit the nail on the head on the problem here because um they're they're trying to make a, a superhero character but they don't know what makes a superhero character they think it's uh like or like a their race or like oh um you know like yeah. characters like Miles Morales are popular because uh he they're, they're a black Spider-Man or something like that but that's not why Miles Morales is popular Miles Morales works as a character because he isn't just black yeah. Spider-Man he is Miles Morales he is a kid from Brooklyn he has his own hardships struggles uh his own aspirations and goals that are wholly separate from what Peter Parker's goals are they're two different characters who yeah. just happen to be Spider-Man and it just so happens that Miles Morales yeah. is black Nah. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. This may be a stupid question, but you already have a PS5, TJ? Oh, no, 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 I'm playing on my PS4. They also released it for the I didn't PS4. Know, I didn't know it was... People who play it on PS4 can get a free upgrade for the PS5 uh, and play it there when it comes out. I, I didn't know it was on a... I didn't, I didn't know cause it, that it was also on PS4. Maybe I just slipped by it when I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, watching the trailer. I was actually surprised too. I only found out when my mom went out to uh, go check if it was available and... She she also uh, let me know that uh, you can also get a you can also get a free copy for the PS5 if you get it on the PS4. Hey. Nice. So you do plan on getting a PS5? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I am. It's just really hard to get one right now. <laughs> of course. Anyway, uh, we're moving on to our next topic. <laughs> so All now right. we're gonna be talking so, uh, about Neo LMS. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> But she. But, but you know what they say. I guess that it's it's the world's gonna end now. <laughs> uh, smooth transition, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, what we'll really be talking about is the the next game of the world ends with you, which is actually titled Neo. The world ends with you. Oh, so, what? It's actually called Neo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's written there. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even notice that. Nice. Yeah. So, uh. You two have watched the trailer, right? Yep. All Actually, right. I'm watching it right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I'm right. Sorry, sorry my bad. <laughs> it's. No, 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 it's all, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> well, based good, just based it. from the trailer, it seems to have uh, evolved from being a 2D game. The first game was a 2D game, fully 2D. Yeah, it was I love the art style. Yes, and the uh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, and. Uh, Now it's become 3D and it's still set in Shibuya, so the players can roam around Shibuya freely. But it still got the whole uh, same plot of the Reapers game, where they have to partner up and fulfill this the the 
the tasks and stuff of the Reapers so they can survive to the next round. And like ultimately the goals of the Reapers game is, uh, if I recall correctly, I, it's been a long time since I've played The World Ends With You, but uh, the, go- the, conf- the, the end goal is that I think you and your partner are trying to come back to life because you're both dead. Oh. So like that's the promise of the Reapers game. If you win the Reapers game, you can come you and your partner can come back to life. Like second chance, yeah. I see, I see. But this is actually not a sequel to the first game. The first it's not a sequel to the first game. It's a sequel to the anime of the game. I see. Maybe I should watch the anime. Oh, uh I don't know. So, um... I actually haven't watched the anime would, either. <laughs> would you need to have seen the, um, <laughs> the anime to play the game? Is that a watch party? Well, based on, like... Okay, I haven't watched the anime, right? But I watched the trailer, and, uh... Oh, wait, no, the anime airs in April 2021. Of course, I haven't watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! But, oh. but, but watching... just <laughs> Even just watching the trailer, like... I was able to figure it out. Like I, I could get the gist of it because it was still like same basis as the original, where it's got the Reapers game and stuff. I think it could stand alone. I guess. Oh, okay, 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 I get it. I was kind of confused. I was thinking like, what? What is the game and the anime gonna come out of order or something? Tagal pa yun pare. Yeah, the anime comes out in April 2021, and the game comes out in summer, summer. 2021. So about no August, date. right? August. About August, yeah. Ish. Yeah, about August, September, but there's no specific date yet, and that might just be in Japanese, but I'm not sure. It can be in English also, if they go for uh, a time to learn Japanese. <laughs> Oh, bro. Uh, wait, wait. I mean, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, I mean, they Japanese release an... dub or Japanese dub and sub? Well, there's in the English subtitles in the game, huh? and um, the, the trailer it was I mean, in English. It's, I mean, so... if it's. They, yeah, they it's trailer just Japanese was in... dub, it's fine. Yeah, the trailer was in English, so I was gonna say that it's probably going to be a global release at the like, like when it oh, comes man. out. Yeah. Uh, I really like the comic book panels thing in the game. Oh yeah, yeah, the first game also had that style. Because I'm pretty sure the style is like really important because in the first game you have these... Your main character is Neku and Neku is like really into the style stuff. He's yeah. like so hip and cool the hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> Honestly, when I first saw the style for this game when I was younger, I just yeah, I really, it, I really loved how it looks. I, I I feel like I took some inspiration from it when I was younger, um, especially yeah. with how the characters are kind of like dressed. I really like the style and how they look like with the headphones, like the hoodies and stuff. Uh, I just thought it was really cool. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just never knew where to get the game though. There's a remake on the Switch now, but the original was on the DS. I played the one on the DS. I still. That's why I got confused, like, cause. The whole battle system was like, uh, you have pins, and like on the DS, I think on the Switch also. I'm not sure, okay, I haven't played the one on the Switch yet. Uh, on the DS, you'd have to get the stylus and like scratch the screen with the stylus, like oh. violently <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> to like, attack. Like, <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's why I was like, I was like curious, like. How they made it 3D, but uh, yeah, the trailer also showed that it seems. But I'm still not sure how the controls to that will be. But yeah. Oh yeah, I really love how the fighting style looks like in the game. I think it's really cool. Yeah. No wait, there's there's this comment on, on the YouTube video for the trailer from yeah. John J3000. Uh, he says the world ends with two was a bit of a missed opportunity though. <laughs> Wait, 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 sorry, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Uh, the World's End with Two. He says it, the game could have been called The World Ends with Two. Oh, because it's a, it's like a, yeah, it's yeah, like it's a just, sequel or a it's second game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro. Oh, my goodness. Also, uh, hang on. If, can can we talk about this for a sec? Cause like I, I heard from my friends about 
something about Persona fans and the world ends like reacting to the world ends with you. So I so just now I just literally googled like so what's the deal with that? So I so I checked and apparently, <laughs> apparently they just pointed out like aesthetic aesthetic details like this is just from Twitter by the way but it's 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 on an article that just points out a Twitter post it's very, oh, a bunch of Twitter posts and they pointed out like oh the aesthetics and how the people in the crowds fade in and out while you walk in or walk out yeah uh, well and I have and how the news models have nondescript faces I have news for you. Twewi has been like that before Persona 5 even came out, so you could argue, counter argue that Persona 5 copied Twewi. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's true. Uh, now that, that you mentioned true. that, I wanna, I wanna bring this up too. So, uh, I, I found this out on Twitter. Apparently, when Persona 5 came out, uh, what uh, to the world ends with you fans were doing the same thing uh, Persona 5 fans are doing now <laughs> to the world ends with you too. So, oh uh, I thought it was just really funny that it, it's kind of come full circle in that way. <laughs> Look, man, what just, goes just around, enjoy comes the around. game. Just enjoy the game. This is why we can't have good things. They also pointed out how the locations, like the similarity in locations. Like, because it's the same location. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's why I find it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I find it. I find it stupid. Like, yeah. it's the same place. It's a real place. If you go to Japan, go to Tokyo. Shibuya is a real place. Bruh. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, by the way, when, when's the game coming out again? Uh, it's summer of 2021. All right. Yeah. Uh, I I definitely can't wait to try it out when it comes out. Um, wait. Uh, what platforms is it on again? I uh, switch in PS4. Oh, right, right. Uh, I I probably get it on PS4. Yeah, I'll probably play it there. <laughs> I was I was searching the release date just to make sure, but when I but like I typed in right Neo the world ends with you and then I was gonna type release, like R E, and like this immediate search op the immediate search suggestion said your Persona fight. Bro, <laughs> hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it on message. I'm gonna send it in the chat so that you can no. see it. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Just look at it. It's amazing. So, uh, right. anyway, anything you guys else, anything else you guys want to add? Oh my God, sir. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm good so far. Uh, how about you, Zaria? Okay, so, uh, Zaria, could you introduce what we're going to be reviewing for this episode today? Okay, for, so for today, we're not going to be doing an anime first episode review. Instead, we're going to be reviewing the first episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. This is the cartoon of Gen 5 which had ended like last year I think with seven seasons nine seasons I can't remember but we're just going to be going into right. the first episode of season one for today it was a, a two-parter right yeah I'm pretty sure all of the first episodes of the seasons of friendship is magic are all two-parter episodes so the starting episode is always gonna be one and then two should be right after and they air at the same time actually okay so um first impressions uh yeah i thought it was really fun i really liked the animated art style um going into it it was really fun i uh, um i thought it was really funny <laughs> i can see why a lot of people got into it even though they're not the you know the target demographic and i i really like what they did with the characters designs even though they're really simple the desi designs you can really tell that a lot of thought was put into them and they can really help showcase a character's personality especially characters like Fatushai who have a simple design but just by like the way her hairstyle you can tell how she acts or speaks yeah yeah that's it she's poofy and soft what about you Jian? what do you think uh I like Rarity. <laughs> She's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought she was really. I funny. like Rarity. Like, 
Yeah, like, she's, she's one of the... Uh, yeah, she's just really pretty, man. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to sound like this, this doesn't sound weird, does it? I oh, know, no, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> okay, good. Like, don't worry. No, no, no. I just want to say, Rarity, prettiest one. <laughs> Pinkie Pie is always on on a sugar rush. Uh, no, I see why Pinkie Pie Dash gets compared gotta to go Deadpool. Fast. What? Oh well, uh, just Deadpool? Some, some people like to uh, like to compare how Pinkie Pie and Deadpool interact in like in, like different fan works. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. They, they just like doing it. <laughs> I think it's uh, funny. Okay, okay, okay. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but because like there's this one part of the th of the of the episode that all I all I thought about was just Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> wait, wait, wait! What made you think that? <laughs> Uh, Z Zaria would get this and some other Final Fantasy players would get this, but... <laughs> when you get to that scene of the anime... Shadowbringers... <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I had I had to do it. I had to do it. Ah, Shadowbringers. Okay, okay. I, I think I, I think I might know what you're referring to. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Uh, there, there was, uh, um... There was, a. Uh... A part in the second part of the episode, uh, there was this part that I really liked. Um, when I saw it uh, come up, uh, like they had like a transformation scene, I was like, "Yo, this is the Power Rangers!" Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> like, "Yeah, oh my God. let's go!" <laughs> <laughs> they even they even have the they had the part where like the the, the, the sixth stranger has like. <laughs> Uh, like, and like extra armor on their costume, so like, uh, Twilight Spark has like the Tiara, right? <laughs> go, go, Power Rangers! Oh, I actually that have a question nice. about Zuya. It's like, um, is there like a difference in, uh, what they're wearing? Uh, it's like, they're a different power depending on what they're wearing. Like, how they wear the elements of harmony? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, uh, cause like, but Twilight Spark has, uh, Tiara, while everyone has, has like a medallion. Is there like a difference in, in that? Uh, well... I can't really answer you properly because there's gonna be a spoiler. Okay, uh, well, I mean, that's what, just what I wanted to know about it was like important down the line. Yeah, it's, it's kind of important. So, um, what about you? Um, yeah. What about you, Zuria? How does it feel coming back to this episode, like after watching the rest of the series? How does it feel for you? It's, it's really satisfying to see how far they've come and how much they've grown from how they started. And all the things that they've learned and progressed through. It's also nice to see that, uh, like, even from the very first episode of season one, the animators have always been working really hard. Even side characters that aren't, that are just in the background or not really important to the scene. Their hair and their eyes and everything they're doing is still animated, even though they're just in the background. A lot of, uh, shows don't do that most of the time the background characters are not really as well animated as them the main characters yeah that, that's true that's true yeah uh, yeah i uh, i really agree with that i really like how the show is animated and um L lauren foss lauren foss was the showrunner right for uh for my if i remember right yes Right, right. Because uh, yeah, she has like name. a really distinct style. Like even on the other shows she's worked on, like when uh, I was younger, like she also worked on Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. And I oh what? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I really like her style and uh, how her writing style, and I love how her shows are animated. Like and yeah, it's yeah. just really nice to see something from her again because I haven't seen anything from her since Foster's. And yeah. Uh, I just really like the art direction for the show, and like you said, like even the background characters, like the attention to detail there, they, even, they animate stuff uh, as small as that, and I think it's really nice. Yeah, even in anime, yeah. like most of the time, even their main characters in anime aren't aren't even as well animated as the side characters and background characters of My Little Pony. Oh uh, yeah, true, true, because like usually it's like a static body, right, and then they just move the mouth to animate it. Yeah. I am. Uh, I'm. I am kind of curious though. Um. Uh. No. Wait. <laughs> I was. I was gonna ask. Uh. Like. 
how did they get? Because I, I felt like the story was like pretty wrapped up, but then in the second episode, I was like, how are they gonna carry it on from there? But then like I forgot. Oh wait, yeah, uh, they did. They gave her like a mission at the end of the, <laughs> of the second episode. Yeah. So, like, um, uh, I think a better question to ask would be, um, what's the what's the rest of the season like? What's the rest of the first season like? Is it a bit more episodic in nature or? Are there overarching story, uh, um, story arcs? I can't really remember that well, but I think even if you watch it fragmented, like you watch the third episode, then the fifth or something, I think you could still get it because I'm pretty sure a lot of the episodes could stand alone, just not the finale, I think, if I remember right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm, I see. But sometimes they reference events from past episode so yeah it's it's better to watch it in order either way ah uh, yeah oh uh, yeah okay that makes sense um i <laughs> there was just one part um i thought uh I, I believe i mentioned this with you guys when i was watching it um remember the part of the sea serpent in, in like the, the river thing uh-huh like uh, i i thought at first that she was just gonna like cut off the other side of like the the other half of the like dragon's mustache or something, right? Uh-huh. Uh, but then, like, she cut her own hair. Um, but like the way it was cut together, I mean, <laughs> the way the scene was cut together was like um, it cut to, it cut to her slashing and then like the dragon screaming. And I thought, like, <laughs> yo, what did she actually cut the dragon? Bro, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought she like shanked the dragon or something. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, I also really like the puns in um, Applejack's family, like, um, uh, the, the big guy's name was um, Ma- Macintosh. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, like the, like the Apple computer. Ah, uh, yeah, Macintosh, yeah. I'm pretty sure all of her family members are all real types of apples. Applejack, Big Macintosh, Granny Smith, and Apple Boom, I think. Yeah. I really like puns, so I thought the food puns were really funny. Yeah. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay, that's a Granny Smith. Oh, you've never seen a Granny okay. Smith apple before? It's just a green apple. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know it had a name. I just thought of it like as an <laughs> unripe apple. You know, uh, that actually, it reminds me of a story. Um, I think this was when I was like in kindergarten or something. Uh, you know how like they gave you uh, drawings that you need to color in? Yeah. So they gave us uh, they gave us a picture to, they gave us all a picture to color in it was a uh, it was an apple right and I knew for a fact they're red and green apples so I was like okay I'll color it in green because green is my favorite color I grabbed my Crayola and I started coloring it in and they gave us they gave it back to us and they told me uh, the uh, apples are green they're red only the leaf part is supposed to be green that's wrong and I told him wait no 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 Granny Smith apples are green <laughs> and, uh, I, I grabbed the I grabbed the crayon from the Crayola and then it said Granny Smith apple on it that was the specific shade <laughs> that I used and I showed it to the teacher I was like Gra- apples can be green yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you see you see fellas you see uh, audience right now TJ was a valedictorian even before he Bruh, got to even no. before he got to grade oh, one. No. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> it was it was just a green apple, okay? <laughs> he, he, he legit he legit told a teacher a teacher that there was a that there was such a thing as a green apple. I and provided uh, I'm I'm pretty sure no man that they knew that there are green apples. Uh they probably were just like I had to make sure that I understood that apples are typically red, and that's probably why they approached <laughs> okay, me. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But still. Uh, so Zaria, anything to note about the episode for the for the people who wanna uh, get into My Little Pony? Anything to mention? Well, like uh, I guess if they think like the first episode is like pretty. Like the first two episodes is pretty simple, or um, had like I guess uh, might they might think it's like childish or like uh, overgeneralize the other characters like Chien did earlier. Uh, it actually gets like really deep, like the plot and all of the characters as the story goes on through the seasons. Ah uh, yeah yeah uh, I I do feel that um. Yeah, uh, I was Mark watching like this um, video by my little uh, my little pony fan. Oh my god! Uh, they were 
they were going like in an in-depth discussion of like uh, their own version of what they would do like the, with the My Little Pony story and I thought it was like uh, if there was like a lot of details about like the characters and their backstories and like the different lore piece, uh, lore and uh, species in My Little Pony I thought that was like really cool I was like I know, really blown away by how yeah. deep it went uh, I really appreciate that in like uh, stories like deep lore and stuff yeah. like that and like a lot of the friendship lessons like sometimes they're things you already know but sometimes uh they're actually things that you probably might not know or like you kind of knew but like you didn't know how to put the the lesson into words so like when you see the friendship lessons happen and the characters grow from it uh i think sometimes it can help people grow to be better people as well oh yeah definitely i i I personally really like that in, when cartoons like this yeah, are able to nice. deliver that's a message nice. without you know being being weird about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I really appreciate it when they do stuff like that, and especially like when you said when they uh they go be- when they go deeper. Yeah. Uh, and that's probably why there are a lot of adult fans of the show. Yeah. I think I want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> like all, like all of it. <laughs> But I don't know if I have the time. Oh my god! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Me, I actually, uh, I might leave it on while I work and work on stuff because like it's a pandemic and uh, other shows that I want to watch are mostly anime right now and anime is like it's not usually in English on Netflix so yeah. it would be nice to have something I can listen to while I work that's other than YouTube or music and Netflix got rid of all the cartoons I watch. Benton's like all the Benton's Bruh. not on Netflix anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I might leave My Little Pony on yeah. from time to time if I find an episode interesting. So um, be- before we move on, I, I do want to ask which one of uh, them are your favorite from the cast? Which one of what? Which which what? Oh, uh, which, which of the ponies are your favorite? Rarity. <laughs> <laughs> Rarity. Hi, guys, the obvious answer for me, Rainbow Dash. Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Speed, yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> Everyone knows Rainbow Dash, even the people who don't want. Them. Yeah, because uh, like even in the Sonic community, Rainbow Dash yeah, is. Yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Rainbow Dash is like uh, super popular too in like the Sonic community too. And that's why like I I know about her. Ah, I, I like Pinkie Pie. Ah, uh, Pinkie Pie. Yeah. Nice, nice. She's really hyper, and she has this cutesy thing to her. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. There was like there was also like this running joke I really like from her. Uh, it was like this running joke from the two-part episode. Um, it was the one where she was like, uh, "I haven't been this excited since I last saw you," and I was like, <gasps> ah. <laughs> "I thought it was just really yeah, funny." Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I know that one. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah. One. Yeah. So, um, anyway, uh, if you guys are interested in checking out My Little Pony and finding why, finding out, finding out why a lot of people are really into it, despite them not being the t- target demographic, it is on Netflix right now, and. Uh, Is it uh, six seasons, Ria? On Rhea? Netflix. Because uh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking on at Netflix, it on Netflix and it says it's six seasons. Uh, no, it's. Not. Oh, okay, okay. So it, uh, they probably don't have all of it. Well, uh, so you can at least watch most of it on Netflix. So if you guys are really interested in checking it out, I think you guys will have a lot of fun. It's kind of like being a kid and watching Pokemon on TV again. It's really fun. Yes, there are nine seasons. Oh, oh, nice. Well, um, okay, so moving on from that one, what's our next thing to do today, Jian? Oh, uh, well, next on our list is our sharing segment, and basically we're gonna be <laughs> giving voices <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to strange and random images. So here's, here's, here's how, it's, how it's gonna work, right? All of us, like, uh, TJ, Zaria, and I, we've all given our, we've all, like, put five images in a in a file like each and and this is how it's gonna go uh whatever images that i gave zaria is gonna voice whatever that tj will will give uh, whatever tj put there i'm gonna voice and tj will voice zaria's and basically we just (laughs) looking at the roster (laughs) oh boy this is great So I guess, um, TJ, you go first. You're the big strong. But, uh, oh, bro, <laughs> bro, fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I guess I'll just like start with the first image. Okay, so I'm um, just scroll down. This is the first image Ria gave me. 
Uh, uh, that's a guy, right? Is this, this a guy in the picture? Yeah, that's uh, a guy. It looks like a... It's a demon boy. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, just gotta... Pull back a very a pretty bit. man. Ugh, silence! You ugly woman! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Bruh. TJ eyes. <laughs> Bruh. Ah, true! True! Wait, 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 wait. But, but wait, hang on. TJ says... No, I'm just kidding. Hey, hey. We're no, all just kidding. sims. Oops! <laughs> that, that is... Yeah, okay. That's true. You have a point. Uh, uh, okay. Wait, hang on. I'm just gonna turn on, turn on the lights so you guys can... Uh, on. so... So the second one... <laughs> I, I've actually seen this uh, quite a bit on Twitter. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, I'll try. Uh, I'll try improving something <laughs> for the second one. Uh, hold on, let me let me think. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> That's right, Timmy. You took my juice box. So I'll take your life. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that was good, that Perfect. was good. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Oh, that, that, that was spot on. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, the next one. Number the next three. <laughs> it's been some time, so I, <laughs> I hope I get this one right. I hope I get this one right. <laughs> Shoot! Nice. It was, it was, it was still pretty good. It was still pretty good. <laughs> thanks. Uh... This this next one though, <laughs> bruh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't know what kind of voice I should go for this one though. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, I deserve it. Top me. <laughs> I don't even know what that was all about. I just heard the top me and it was great. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, it's probably just because <laughs> I was a bit far away from you guys on the mic you guys are hearing me from. But it, it did capture the recording though, so... Uh, <laughs> at least... Ah. Uh, at least uh, no, we got that, we got that. Oh, nice. I see, I see, I see. Alright. Okay, so... Last one for me is... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Is this actually? Is this actually? No, no. I mean, is this actually? Is this actually from the manga? I don't know. I got this from Tad. <laughs> ah, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, actually, I, I heard these voice actors before on a podcast. Ah. So uh, I'm, I, I can kind of remember what the, uh, this guy's voice sounds like. It was kind of deep, or you know, kind of like a calm, deep voice. Your fetishes are what makes you who you are. <laughs> okay, okay, now I <laughs> That's All perfect. Right. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. So, uh, since you made me feel perfect. first, you're going first. You're going next, Jin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Yes. Okay. Well, okay, this seems about right. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> step a bit away from the mic. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh god! Oh call an ambulance! Oh oh it's the pain! <laughs> it's unbearable! <laughs> right, that was the f that was the first one. Nah. Okay, that was nice, okay. uh, nice, nice. Oh there's text on right, the I can't one. make out what that is. <laughs> I, I can't I can't make out what it says, but I'm just gonna I'm oh, you gonna don't have to read do... it. you can just make up you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay there okay there it is, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yes, really. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Yes. No. I'm, I'm not kidding I'm, I'm, you. I'm not <laughs> kidding you. You gotta read it, Jim. Right, right, right. I don't know. I don't agree with you. Maybe someday you'll be as smart as I am. <laughs> true. Yeah, true. what a flex. <laughs> Give it up for Jim. <laughs> hey. You know, hey, hey, I didn't get valedictorian! Bruh! <laughs> okay, hang on, let me see. Let me see what this is, at least. <laughs> what is that? Next one. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. 
<laughs> Wait, but, but by the way, uh, these are all science diagrams from real textbooks that people collect on the internet. Is this is, is that a guy's hand yeah. inside a horse? Yes. <laughs> you hear your voice in the horse. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up! Oh uh, wait, what was I? What was I gonna do with this one? You're voicing the horse. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I know, but like you can, you can say anything, anything, anything you want. Like, like remember the time Seth did this to you when you were wearing the horse mask? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right, let me let me try this. I don't know how this is gonna come out, but. I must consume human. All right, that's, Demon that's horse. all I could think of. Demon, Demon horse. horse. All right, now this one. Next one, yeah. Oh, okay, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to st stand a bit far from the mic again. All right. Inhales. <laughs> Bro. Okay, that's it. Nice. All right. Oh, I like this next one. <laughs> oh, for are you? Y'all are just jealous of this glute booty I got. <laughs> Gluteus maximus strengthening. <laughs> Damn! What a flex! Yo, yo, wish you could get this glute boot. What? A just like me. What a flex! Gluteus maximus. He's there. Yeah, you're just gonna take that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. He's there. You're just gonna take all. Don't speak when you're too strong. Too strong. You know. See, see you guys have you before you press. Shut up. I guess that leaves right. me, but I don't know right. what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm meme worthy for the second bro. I wanna do the second one. <laughs> okay, I'll. Okay. And I can't remember what this guy's actual voice is. Uh. Hmm. Here's the first one. Uh. Kowalski! He looks like he's dying, bro. I'm gonna send it now. Oh Come on. Oh no, Here's the second one. Oh, that's too good. Guess someone cued the Neo sound effect. We'll put it in. We'll put it. We'll put it in when you start talking. Message from Reynold Joseph Christian to Manis. Subject. Important schoolwork. I will bury you alive! <laughs> Bro! <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, good old time. Bro, what do I do with this? Just give me. Just give me. Just give me. Just, just give me the stupidest thing that you, just the stupidest voice you could ever give, like to this guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, is he supposed to be one of the ninja third? <laughs> He's Michelangelo. Poorly edited version, yeah. It's Mike. It's Michelangelo. Wait, wait, wait! It's I Michael need a line from that guy. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait! Say Buyakasha. Buyakasha. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, or uh, and, 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 and it's boy. like his catchphrase. Okay. Boy, <laughs> 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 Okay, here's the fourth. Oh, I'm really interested to see what you do with this one. <laughs> I sent you my assessment. Please respond. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no. Yes, <laughs> I showed you my assessment. That was good. That was good. I didn't know what you were gonna do with that, but that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the best ones you've been so far. <laughs> that is true. This is the last one. This is an this is an eternal mood right here. 
Oh, would you look at the time? It's Thirst O'Clock! <laughs> yeah! It's Thirst O'Clock! <laughs> Alright, well... That was, that was that was definitely fun. Yes. Hell yeah, that was amazing. I, I certainly had a lot of fun with what TJ had, especially the first one. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> I, uh, All right. I really like so, what you did too. <laughs> like, All diagrams. So um moving on to the to our next segment, it's the fan challenges segment. <laughs> there is one that says uh <laughs> Sing Barney's "I Love You" if you, as if you were in a death metal band. Oh boy! Uh, excuse me, Sin- what? I I think I'm gonna cough a lot and I'm gonna damage my voice, but this is fine. This is fine. I'll do it. I'll take I'll take one for the team on this one. Thanks. <laughs> All right. I'll look up the lyrics first. I love you, Barney lyrics. Right, here maybe go. maybe you should okay. use the cursed ones. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Here here goes. I love you! You love me! We're all happy family! We're a good pay huh? and I get away to you! Won't you say you love me too? No 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 curse. <laughs> oh that was that was so cursed. <laughs> you kinda went British there for a moment. <laughs> uh, Hey man, it's I still got the the, the 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 thing off. I think now my head feels dizzy. Ooh. Okay, now to the next one. Now to the next one. To our fan fan questions. <laughs> I'm really dizzy from that one. Uh, who's the person you get along with most and the least in your household? Pets not included. Uh, I get along with everyone though. Uh. Wait, the most and the least? Well, I guess I know. Hmm. I, I guess I guess in your case it's fine if you can't really if you don't really want to rank them. Like, yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I hate, ask, I hate it when guidance makes us rank this because I like I'd put everything on the same rank. Yeah, that's fair. How about you, TJ? Well, for me, it's just a really weird question. It's a strange question to ask someone. Uh, like to rank their friends or their family members and yeah and i don't know why guidance counselors ask these kinds of questions expecting you to give like an actual like tier list or ranking system for your family members <laughs> i mean i guess i uh, know in some in in their defense i guess they're just trying to s- just trying to see like if you have any problems uh, yeah i can understand in the mind yeah yeah problems with a certain pe- m- member but i i can i can understand what you guys feel too it's, it's Another thing I find like really weird that guidance counselors will do is like sometimes they won't directly ask you these questions. They instead have they'll instead have you do something else and then make a guess. They'll they'll guess uh, based on what what you did. So like there was this guidance counselor in one of my old schools that I went to, and they had us all draw our family. And apparently, based on where your family members are in the drawing, that's how much you love them. Like in relation to their distance Bruh. from you in the drawing. Wow. Diba? I don't. Like, I don't like, get those things. Like, like, I don't get they, those they, they things. They can occupy all. They can all occupy the same space. So you're gonna have to be next to someone else. You know, like, bruh. Just put them like in a, in a square, and then put your face in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be like, what? Now, huh? <laughs> check checkmate guidance. And then, like like they don't even they don't tell you these things like uh, before you answer. And like uh, I guess it's because they want an honest answer or something like that. But like. We were like grade one or something, and some of these people couldn't even draw. So like, what are they gonna do? You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm, but uh, going back to the question, I don't really have a uh, preference. I just think it's a really weird question to ask someone. Same. So you don't have a ranking either. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I don't have a ranking. Uh, it's just a really weird question to ask for for me. Uh. I guess I guess I'll be different then. Though not no though not though it's not a bad thing. Okay, it's not a bad thing. I'm I'm not saying any anything at all. I I I love my family. It's just that I'm just I'm just the closest to my sister the most because because she gets me more than you know. And it's like yeah, just just my sister and then everybody else is a close second. That's it. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Um, wait, do we have time for another one? It's the, what, it's uh, the one that's a question after. or a challenge? A, cha- a, a, a question, sorry. 
Uh, sure, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I think we okay. can uh, we can squeeze in one more. Okay, okay. Uh, a simple one, since it's Halloween. What urban legend scares you the most? Tell us about it. It can be from anywhere. Okay, here's the funny thing. I actually like researched urban legends of Japan and Korea and China and like I, like all over the place because I want I was writing um like in grade nine or ten I was in the reading and writing club and I had to write something scary for a Halloween and I researched all of it. But none of them were actually scary because like okay, maybe some people find it scary, but then I found a lot of it just stupid. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Uh, I remember um what was your name? Uh yeah, the, the slit walk moon and um I thought it was uh uh when I first uh, heard the story, I wasn't really like scared of it, but I thought it really got my attention because uh uh-huh. the way you escape was like really funny. Yeah. <laughs> so so she like uh she like approached you and asked you a question, right? And like one of the ways so you don't get killed by her is just like throwing candy at her. <laughs> Uh-huh. Cause she she really likes candy, so if you throw candy at her, she's gonna stop and pick it up and eat it. Bro. And uh, you can also um right she'll ask first she asks you if she's pretty or like she'll approach you with a face yeah. mask, right? And then she'll take out the face mask and then she'll ask you if she's pretty again, right? Yeah, if she's still pretty, yeah. And so like uh depending on your answer, she'll either like straight up kill you or she'll like leave the same slit mouth pattern on your face. But if you just answer, Am I pretty? She'll be like so confusing that yeah. answer. You can also say maybe, and then she'll get confused, I think. Oh my god. Yeah, you can be like, you're so-so, and then she'll be like, huh? And then you you (laughs) can just leave. (laughs) Bruh. Um, I forgot the name of this place, but it's in the Philippines. Uh, do you guys remember that something something drive? It's like a, it's like a a tunnel. Baleta drive? Baleta? Baleta Drive. Uh, I think that's what it is, cause like I always hear about it in like Philippine horror stories, and it's like a swamp area or something. Ah, uh, hang on. Hang on, is it this one? Uh, I don't know if it's this one, but basically it's, or if it's one of many. But okay, wait, it is, it is, it is, it, it, it it's Baleta Drive. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, Baleta Drive, like how you see a white lady while driving down the streets and like the way to prevent it is to honk the horn i think i don't know how you, i don't know if, i don't know if you're supposed to honk it like a certain amount of times or at least just once but if you don't want to see the lady in white you have to honk the horn and huh. i i heard i heard a story from a friend of mine uh she and her parents were Actually driving down that I uh, know that that place. Uh-huh. I, I remember her telling me her father had balls of steel because like he didn't believe in that stuff. He didn't believe in like white ladies and all the other stuff. Like, uh, that's kind of racist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, it's only. Ra- I, I think you're the one who's racist, TJ. I didn't bring that up, and you brought it up. Okay, but like, he had basically her dad had balls of steel. Because when they were driving through ba- uh, no, Valete, I think he didn't honk the horn like the entire way. Like uh-huh. the entire the entire time, like her mom was like, "Yo, honk the horn, or otherwise the the white lady's gonna show up." And then, uh-huh. and then like he didn't like until almost the end of the tunnel, her mom honked the horn for him. <laughs> and Bruh. so, and then, but they, then they got out like safely. I'm just glad she's all right. And I'm just glad she's Bruh. not the horrified. Uh, it's uh, it's, it's kind of weird though to me that um, like like the way to stay alive is that you make noise. Make, make noise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause like if if you wanted to avoid the ghost, I thought like the way to do it is you just be like you just drive past her and not acknowledge her, like look in her direction or something. You know? Yeah. Mm, I see. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, but like I, superstitions and stuff. And yeah, a lot of Filipinos uh, are really religion. superstitious. But you know, there's this really stupid one in Japan. I just mm-hmm. remembered it. I yeah. think you're like sitting, like if you're sitting in the in the toilet of 
like in a public toilet or in the school toilet. Uh huh. And then there's this ghost that's supposed to come up to you, ask you if you want like red or blue toilet paper. And what you're supposed <laughs> to one, do yeah, yeah, yeah. is like I think he even does this like when there's like l- like almost no toilet paper or no toilet paper in the stall you're in, and like what you're supposed to do is like ignore him and leave. <laughs> oh, you can't leave oh my! <laughs> you're, you're just gonna no. do it without wiping your butt. No. <laughs> oh no. my god! No. I don't think I. I okay. Because I, because if you choose either like if you choose. If you choose anything he's giving you, he- he'll kill you. So you're supposed to ignore him and leave. <laughs> wow. Is, is there a difference in the death depending on like which one you pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just checked. Uh, a blue is like he'll strangle you and drain all the blood from your body. And then red is like he's gonna stab you or like chop you up and stuff. Oh, hey, that look. Bruh. Sometimes okay, uh, he'll offer yellow and then he'll force your head into the toilet. Oh, isn't that oh, lovely? No. Yellow cuz <laughs> Bruh. Isn't that lovely? No. What? Br- what brown? He'll just he'll shove it he'll shove your face there as well, but instead of pee, <laughs> it's poop. Oh no. <laughs> imagine that, imagine that, right? Uh he'll, g- he'll give you a choice. Uh blue, red, or yellow, right? Yeah. So, but like, imagine if instead of like putting your head in the toilet, he just gives you a, a roll of toilet paper that's drenched in pee. Oh, <laughs> oh no! A fate <laughs> worse than he's like, death. He's like, well, you asked for the yellow one. You... <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> hey, well, so it only happens in public stalls, right? Uh, public or school stalls. Well, <laughs> all the more reasons for you not to poop in school. <laughs> wait, wait, there's a, there's another school ghost, right? Uh, Hanako-san of the, the toilet? Yeah, don't worry, man. This, this dude haunts the female bathroom, even though he's supposed to be a hot guy or something. Wait, I thought Hanako-san was a child. Well... <laughs> no, 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 the one we were talking about earlier. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, ain't he a little pervert now, is he? Wait, imagine if they're, uh... <laughs> They're in the same stall. I mean, I mean, they were like uh, hot in the same toilet, and like <laughs> one, the other goes inside waiting for someone to go in, and the other one is outside waiting to give someone a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! And, and they're like both confused because they think that the other person on the other side is the other person, and they're so like, each, each other. each other. Got him, GGs. <laughs> Got him, GGs. <laughs> Got him. No. Got him. Hey, well, that was a little uh, fun. Oh, wait, wait. I actually, uh, I didn't get answer mine. <laughs> oh, you didn't? <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I didn't actually get okay. answer mine. I didn't, I didn't say anything yet. So, uh, for me, when it comes to, like, urban legends, I don't think it was actually, like, uh, like stuff that was, I know, you know, like, passed around verbally, uh-huh. or, like, like that. But, um, I think it was mostly stuff from, um, uh-huh. from the internet, actually. So... So it'd be stuff like uh, they, from the internet or from from games I played, so like uh, like Resident Evil zombies or something like that. And like when I was younger, there's like this uh, big tree growing out the side of a wall outside my window, and, and so at night it looks like something was like like some weird gangly creature standing outside. Oh, that's that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, it would be stuff like that, and like early creepy pasta stuff, like we mentioned in the in the previous episode. Oh, so, wait, uh, early creepy pasta stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand that. <laughs> But uh, I think the one that like really got me and it got me for like uh for, like a week. Uh, I think his name was uh Laughing Jack. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, the bl- wait, black la- and white clown with the yeah, yeah. He was like I black and wait, white. Okay, 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 right, right. I sort of remember that. Yeah. He uh he wasn't as popular as the other creepy pasta yeah, characters yeah, yeah. that are you know like kind of mainstream. I uh-huh. think. Uh, but but that story like really got me, and it did it, 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 it got me for like a week, and um, wasn't like there wasn't anything like particularly well written about it or like uh, it'd be scary. It was just like really dark and morbid and gross. Uh. And that's why it really got me. It did make me like really afraid of like that because like that, that's how he appears. You hear it, then he'll uh-huh. appear like in his out of his box <laughs> or something, and then and kill you or something. Uh. Uh, okay, wait, hang on, sorry. On 
on that topic, what you said, right? Uh, there, there, there were two things that scared me about the Creepypasta series. Uh, one about Jeff the Killer, and one about another thing that I don't want to say because it still sort of haunts me. Man, you I'm know y'all gonna... talking about this, and I'm like yeah. in a room of darkness. I'm so <laughs> what? I'm so sorry. I haven't, I haven't wait, opened wait, wait, the wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that both of you, for half of this recording, are in a room with no lights? No, my I've lights been, are on now. My lights are still Bro, on. Bro, is that even half? You had it like off since like uh, probably like the start of our recording. Nearly all of the episodes, you had you had like the lights off. There's no way, no way I could have done something like that. Even like even now, like, we're talking about this stuff. I'm looking over my shoulder. <laughs> Uh, that's a mood, that's a mood. But basically, the thing that scared me about Jeff the Killer the most, because like I read this one thing about if you hear the, the the sound of your window like tapping, like it's like like parang uh, like it no. starts off slow. It starts off so, slow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, what are you doing at my house? Okay, but like if it starts off slow. And what you yeah. have to do is, you shouldn't open your eyes. Like, if you're asleep and then you hear that sound, don't open your eyes. Eventually, it'll go. It'll keep going faster and faster. Just don't open your eyes. Eventually, it'll stop. Checkmate, uh, I sleep with an eye mask. You'll never know. Ah, <laughs> ah, true. True, checkmate. Okay, and then the other one, I'm just gonna call it S-Dog. You already know. I don't want to say it anymore. Oh, oh, really? Uh, well, I mean, I can see that. Yeah, like uh, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff together in that one, they have uh, like. Oh, when you say like uh, unnerving images. Wait, when you, when you say what? Yeah, I'll be like S dog. Me just remembering my Genshin name. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, what is your what Genshin your name? your Genshin name? <laughs> yeah, I changed it already, but it's now on my signature. E dog. E dog. <laughs> e dog. Honestly, nice. when I first saw it, I was like, "Yo, is he really going gangster?" No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. Like basically just S dog. I say S dog because I don't want to say the full thing. Because in the creepy pasta, if you say the full name of S dog, it's coming after you and it won't stop until you're dead. Oh, wait. I, I think I might have read a different version of the of that one script pasta. Uh, I, I think it was like a summoning instruction one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was some there's because there's a lot of different versions of that one on, online. And the one I read was like, uh, if you lie down like on a couch or something, and then if you say the name three times with your eyes closed, apparently like an actual like JPEG will appear before you when you open your eyes. JPEG? <laughs> oh my god, bro! Yeah, like In an real actual life? JPEG, a real image. JPEG image. <laughs> And like it even had to be specifically the couch in your living room, or else it wouldn't work. Oh my god, <laughs> that's, rid that's ridiculous. Honestly, I think it was just a typo or something, cause like, like the full name of that creepy pasta ends with dot jpeg, cause it was supposed to be like an image that you share around, and then if you see the image, stuff happens to you. Oh, is that and why? So, uh, yeah, yeah. So like. Uh, like instead of typing out like s dog, it's like s dog dot jpeg, and it doesn't <laughs> sound like like an actual jpeg. Just gonna like appear. Oh yeah, in the, the jpeg. Room or <laughs> no, please, so it's not just, the it's jpeg just, image. <laughs> it's just forever stuck in your eyeballs like a computer monitor. It just doesn't go away. Oh no. No please, matter where no. I, no matter where I go, I see his face. The jpeg. Oh no, <laughs> no, please, anything. Bro, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna put that meme in the video. Are you just editing that? <laughs> No way! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna... I, I'll put it in there. <laughs> yeah, you do it. I'm not gonna edit the picture in. No way. I've had enough of S Dog. Man, you know, when I was a kid, you know, all those chain mails and all these kinds of creepy pastas were like, you, if you don't do this or if you do this or that, it's gonna, whatever it's talking about, it's gonna come after you. It's gonna kill you or something. Or like it's threatening you, basically. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know those. Yeah, you know, I just wait for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Like, like if they go, like it's gonna happen at like three a.m. I just sit there until three a.m. Well, this <laughs> happened. <laughs> I remember um, the first time I encountered one of those things. I think it was either from a Facebook post from a friend, or like some random internet message board that I was on at the time, or something yeah. like that. 
Oh yeah, there's a lot. And of uh, so like I, I read it, and of course, like you know, at the time because I was kind of young, uh, like I, I was kind of like trying, kind of uh-huh. believing what it said, but like uh, I didn't want to. <laughs> Kind of, I was thinking about it. I was like, it kind of doesn't really make sense, you know. It's like it's saying like, oh, in like three days, someone will like come attack you or like kill you or something like that if you don't share this like five places everywhere else. And like I'm like, I don't want to. I kind of don't want to like share it if like you know it's just nonsense or something like that. You know, like if this, if nothing's really gonna happen, uh-huh. I don't want to share it somewhere. So I didn't want to take that risk. But then like, I was also like like formulating plans in my head, like thinking like, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so if someone's gonna attack me in three days, what's gonna, what, uh, what, what should I do? What's gonna happen then? Where will I be in three days at that around that time or something like that? And I was like, okay, so if it's like three days following the time since I oh read this message, and like, okay, I'd be at school at that time. It'd be like uh, the afternoon, I'm at, at school or like it's like lunch or something. So I'm like, like for those three days, I was like sticking close to the to my friends at school. And I'm like, uh, oh like it was saying like I'll get a call or something at around those time, and then like. Uh, who's gonna call me? Who's gonna call on the landline? I don't have a phone. There's no landline at school to call me on. So I'm like, you know, like, nah, bro, you, you, you're not gonna get me, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, bro, you ain't getting the big strong. <laughs> nah, Jin's gonna come and save me. That's why. <laughs> True. Nah, bro, she know, bro. <laughs> True. No, bro, she know. Can I? What can I protect with this? With this, with these noodle arms? Get Noah. <laughs> Nah, bro. Nah, nah, bro. We have audio. For, for her those who don't know, Jian's only using zero percent power what? level right now. We have we it's, have it's audio so. proof of his being strong. Oh come on! Exactly, oh, Duba. Like remember, it. <laughs> remember in the Persona episode, oh, sh- guys, huh? Shut up. <laughs> Silence. But uh, but for real though, um. Before we go, guys, I want to mention uh-huh. one really important thing is that uh, Jin's really only at zero percent power level. Yes, he ultra insane, no, he has super no, sane for gonna go super sane. No. <laughs> uh, no, but 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 uh, <laughs> for you, uh, do you guys have anything you want to add before we before we uh, close out the episode today? Um, no, not at all. Other than. I've come to make an announcement! KJ Tomendez is actually the big ah, strong! Bro. <laughs> okay, 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 but, okay, but really, I, I don't have anything else to say. This was, this was, this was a fun episode. Yeah, uh, it really was. So, uh, Zaria, would you lead us out? That's been about one hour. See you guys next time! Auf Wiedersehen! <laughs>